Hey everyone, so today I'm trying out a different lighting in a different location in my bedroom, so please let me know what you think down below. I tried closing the blinds and just kind of turning my lamp on and having my mirror right here, um, and my actual bedroom lights up there. I don't know. Just let me know what you think down below. Today I have a Mac haul for you guys, and hauls are always super duper requested um, if I ask you guys what you want to see, so if you don't like hauls, just exit out now. I'm just doing it because it's been requested. Um, but yeah, so I have diff two different purchases from Mac that I'm going to show you, and I'll show you my first one, which I don't still have, like, the packaging for, because I got it probably about a couple weeks ago, maybe, like, a month ago, I don't know, but, um, my first purchase from MAC, and then the one I just got yesterday in the mail, which still is in its packaging, so, but guilty, I did use it today, so, I don't know. <laughs> so, the first thing I got from MAC was my own little put-it-together quad palette, Hope you can see it. Don't know what the lighting looks like in here, but I got four, like, pro palette colors. Um, these all came in just the little pans, and then I had the palette, and I just put them all in the palette. Um, and I have the colors All That Glitters, Woodwinked, Sable, and Amber Lights. Um, they look like that. And I can try to do swatches for you guys. I don't know if they'll show up. You guys, these are probably just... You've all seen these probably a thousand times. They're all just the colors that most people recommend, I suppose. Some of my colors I haven't really like got into very far, so they don't show up very well. Come on. Okay. Um, I hope you can see this. Um, it goes from the bottom up. It's um, all the glitters, wood winked, sable, and amber light. Okay, so that I got a couple weeks ago, and I was really excited. This was my first MAC purchase, so it was really, really exciting. Um, and then yesterday in the mail, I got uh, four things. And the first thing was a MAC eyeshadow, and this one is in the color Espresso. I don't know if you can see any of that I just showed you. And it just it's a matte, like, brown color. It looks like that. And I don't know if I'm going to like this one as much. Um, like, it doesn't, it's a really, like, soft brown. Like, can you see it? I thought it was going to be a d deeper brown than that, but it's really, really soft brown. And I don't know if, like, as I dip into it more, if it'll show up better, but yeah, that's what I got for my only eyeshadow that I got yesterday from MAC. And then I got a paint pot, and this was my first paint pot, I'm really excited, um, and it's in Rubenesque, don't know if you can read that, uh, this one is the one that I feel like I've heard the most about, so I got this one naturally, looks like this is the packaging, which it's such a, like, just a really professional, sleek looking packaging, that's the color, and let's see, here, I'll swatch it on this hand, just swatch, I don't know if it swatches good, but that's what it looks like. Hope, hope that's picking up. But it's a super pretty golden color. I was really excited to get it. I don't know, it just it seemed like something to be excited about. And then I've heard so much about this, and it is the MAC Black Track Fluid Line. Obviously, I'm not going to swatch an eyeliner, but it's just a really nice, again, nice packaging. I love Max packaging. It's just so professional and sleek looking. Um, and it's just a black eyeliner, which I used it today on my upper lash line. I don't know what you want to call it. But yeah, it's a really nice eyeliner, and I just need a really good brush to use this eyeliner with because I don't have a very nice brush, but very impressed with it, and I only used it one time, and I have heard so many good reviews on it, so I definitely just had to try it out. And then, my last MAC purchase that I got was uh, a MAC blush, sorry, and this is in Pinch Me, and I kind of did research on, like, good MAC blushes, and Glamorista 16, I think, um, it's the one that said something about this blush, and I liked the way it looked, so I decided to get it. And it looks just like this. And I'll try to swatch the blush. I'm wearing it today, if you can tell. I'll try to swatch it. There. I kind of have it swatched right here, and this is Pinch Me. 
All right, you guys, so that is my Mac haul for you guys, and I hope you all enjoyed. My battery's dying, so I have to go. So um, please make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think of my setup today, and I will see you all very soon. Bye, guys.